Hey everybody, it's me, Ashley Nils, and welcome back to Reddit. Welcome back to the r slash entitled parents subreddit, an amazing little place where people post their stories about entitled parents. Parents who really, um, really think their kids are better than everyone and deserve more than anyone else. So if you haven't seen one of these videos, this is probably, this is, um, number three probably of these videos that I've made, and you guys seem to like them, I really like them. So what I do is I just go on Reddit and I read some of these stories. Most of them are absolutely amazing, so let's get straight into it. Let me have a look through a few of them, and I'll show you the best ones. Ooh, this one looks promising. Entitled parent tries to steal my baby. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Okay, well, she didn't try to steal him per se. Okay, I'm, um, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, okay, I'm interesting. So, I'm a 19-year-old girl, and I have a 7-month-old son. Not uncommon, but still usually gets mistaken for my brother slash child I'm babysitting. I took him to a soft play area nearby on my own, and we were having a great time. He was playing with the blocks and just having fun. A woman came in who had two girls around 6 to 8 and sat near me, and my son. It's at this point my son started to cry. He was hungry, and entitled mum turns to me and asks if his mum is around, to which I tell her I am his mum. She looks shocked and then says, Do you know what's wrong with him? Yes, he'll be hungry. Do you know how to feed him? I was completely shocked by this. Even if I was babysitting, I would know how to feed him. Plus, he's seven months old, so I think I would have fed him at least once before. I didn't say anything and just pulled out his bottle and fed him in my arms. Since there are a lot of things going on around us, he was very distracted and would move away from the bottle to look at something and then cry because he has no bottle. Very frustrating. EM then says, I can feed him for you. At this point, I'm just screaming, what the F repeatedly in my head. I politely declined and told her I know what he's like. She then starts to get a bit aggressive saying I'm too young to look after him and I clearly can't cope being a single mother. I'm not single, but my boyfriend was at work. I couldn't believe what she was saying and got ready to leave. I picked my baby up and put him in the pram. He was screaming as his feed had now been disturbed. I gathered out things that were on the floor right by the pram, and as I turned around, the woman was unstrapping my son in an attempt to take him out. I full on screamed at her to stop, and an employee saw what was happening and ran over immediately and asked her to leave. She refused as her two kids were playing and she didn't want to stop them. I said it was fine and I'd leave instead, as I just want to get home again. I was so incredibly scared of what could have happened, even though I'm fairly sure she just wanted to help. I haven't been back there since. Ooh, this is, it's a, it's not amazing, but I'll, I'll say that it's a nice one. It's a really, it's a, it's an interesting one because it's not like the extreme situation, but it's still like, who would go and grab someone else's baby out of their pram? Just to me, it's just that, it's just... I, I don't understand who, who would do that or why, but let, let's have a look at a couple more and uh, let, I'll see if I can find a more exciting one. Oh, this one looks good. Aunt tries to steal my Nintendo Switch at a family gathering. This is even better because this is your aunt. She's related to you. Let's see what happens. This was recent, but I can't remember everything. So sorry if you get a bit confused. EA is the entitled aunt, EC entitled cousin, D is dad, U is uncle, SC, step cousin, and finally, me. Also, a few family members who were just witnesses. So a few weeks ago, it was my cousin's seventh birthday. So me and most of my dad's side of the family decided to gather at my uncle's house for a party, seeing as they were moderately wealthier than most other people in my family. Now, I didn't know about this party because I thought I was just going to my dad's house for the weekend and was only told it the day before we left. This is important because if I knew we were going, I wouldn't have taken my switch with me. My cousin most likely has ADHD, but my aunt refuses to go get him diagnosed. I'm sure you can already see what's going to happen. The party's going well, we've all eaten, presents have been opened, all's well. Everyone leaves the table and just talks to each other. I'm a good friend with my step cousin, even though she's in her 20s, mainly due to her having a huge collection of games and collectibles such as figurines and cards and posters. Because of her brother, my cousin, she also has a lock on her bedroom door. So everyone has left the table, and I'm walking over to a comfy armchair to play on my Switch when my step-cousin comes over and says, Hey, what's in that case? Me. My Switch, I was just going to play for a while. She doesn't look horrified, just concerned. You sure you don't want to come upstairs to play that? Me. Nah, it's fine, I'm, I'm good down here. Your choice, but knock if you want to come in. She always locks her door. 
Good luck. I had no idea what she meant until only a few minutes later, the demon waddled over to me. Entitled cousin. Cool, you've got a Switch too. What games you got? Me. Oh, a uh, few like Mario Kart. What about you? I hit the game I was playing because it was Dark Souls, and I didn't want to get in trouble for him seeing giant rats murdering me. Good for you, I said laughing. Let me watch you play. Actually, I'm playing a violent game right now. I don't think your parents would want to see you. He looked confused, but then ran off, and I thought that was it. I resumed playing on my Switch when I realized I had died. About a minute later, I'm playing peacefully, and suddenly the Switch is no longer in my hands. I jump out of the chair and see my aunt staring at me angrily with it clutched in her hand. Mate, uh, what are you doing with that? Give it back, it's mine. I don't care. Why didn't you let my son play? Because it's a violent game, and I didn't know if he was allowed to watch. Nobody had noticed the argument at this point, but she at least looked at the screen and saw the gaping dragon boss which I had just started fighting. How dare you show my son such horrible things! She then took out the game and dropped the switch. Me. What the F are you doing? I picked up my switch and demanded back the game. EA. I'm throwing away this horrible thing. Now sit back down and let him play a more suitable game. As she's leaving, I slam the switch into the case, close it, then walk behind her and grab the game from her entitled fingers. And I ran to the stairs. I could hear her screaming behind me, but I climbed up the stairs as fast as I could, holding the case and the game in each hand, and got to my step-cousin's door. She must have heard the yelling and me running up the stairs, because I didn't even have to knock, and she opened the door. I could hear my cousin crying downstairs, but my aunt wasn't screaming. Apparently, she was telling everyone how I was trying to indoctrinate her son into a demonic cult. I spent the rest of the party on my Switch while SC laughed about what I had told her and how she warned me. Anyway, in the end, I told my dad what happened and he and my uncle already knew she was like that and luckily weren't angry at me. My uncle even apologised that my aunt won't want us there for a while, but I still talk to SC regularly and play online with her. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that eventually I killed that boss in Dark Souls. Wow, this is an interesting one because some parents, this is just your typical one, some parents just think that their kids deserve everything. Their kids are the most important people in the world and, um, you know, just taking someone's Switch, you know, when they're just playing. Like, if, you, if it's your Switch, you've got the right to play whatever you want on it. I just don't understand the problem. Why would you just take someone's things and go around, go around just with it and then, and then even better, and then tell everyone around that, you know, you're making... You know, that you're forcing, they're forcing your son to join a cult. I just, I, I don't understand. Ooh, this one looks interesting. If I were you, I'd slit my throat. Posted this on r slash cheesing beggars initially and was told to post it here too. This story might interest you. And it's quite a short one, but short and sweet. This should be good. So this one happened to me a few months ago. I work at Best Buy and as you probably know, we do some pretty big discounts for Black Friday. That week is usually the worst for us employees. Customers can get so aggressive and rude that those of us who actually show up to work receive a bonus at the end of the month. I was in a pretty bad shape financially, so I decided I would work for Black Friday this year. Bad call. Near the end of the day, after the deals were done, a mum showed up with her 15-year-old kid. They wanted to see if we had unsold products that we could give away, that she was out of a job and her kid needed a PC or a tablet to submit essays and prepare PowerPoint presentations for school. I told her this wasn't a bakery, and we didn't give out expensive technological items for free, just because they were unsold. However, I was in a good mood after going through that day. I also knew, thanks to work, and especially after this week, I'd be financially stable, so I told her I had an old tablet that I could gift her. It just had to stay plugged in for it to work since its battery had broken. It could still be used, you just couldn't move while using it. She told me, boy, I'm 25, why would I use a tablet if I can't even freaking move it? Why would you give me that junk? I'm a single mum. I need to raise my kid good. Just look around. There is a ton of junk you haven't sold. Give it to me. Black Friday is over and I deserve it. Being a single mum is hella hard work and you should be glad to be able to help someone in need. I answered that wasn't my call to make and I expected a little respect since I was an employee, not her friend. That apparently hurt her, and at that point, she lost her marbles. She told me, oh, F off. Do you know how hard it's been for me lately? No one thinks about others nowadays. Times are harsh, and you treat me that way? Why are you so cold, you butthole? You should be ashamed. Go kill yourself. If I were you, I'd go slit my throat. Fortunately, my boss was next to me at that point, probably drawn in by her foul language and the volume of her voice. 
He's told her to leave, and when she refused, told her to F off, or you and your kid are going to jail. Nice, nice. There was no, there was this just short and sweet. You know, someone comes in asking for a free laptop or tablet. Who does that? That is the choosing beggars, but she's doing this for her kid. It's an entitled parent. Who just comes in and asks for a free laptop or tablet? As this guy said, this isn't a bakery. They don't give stuff away at the end of the day just because they haven't sold it. You know, it's not like it's going to go bad. They can buy it. They can have it there tomorrow and just sell it without the sale. But I mean, sure, it's bad if they're in a bad financial position. But, you know, they... She, she just, she was just so entitled about it. She just felt like she deserved it, which is just, again, just, just doesn't make sense. I can imagine if I just walked into a store at the end of the day and was like, hey, you haven't sold all of these. Maybe, maybe you just give them to me. I, I can imagine. I, I feel like the security would just get me on me in a second and then just be leading me out of the store and probably ban me from it. Just, I don't know. Maybe this, I, what goes through these people's heads? It, I just, I don't, I don't get it. All right, and just one last short one to finish off the day. A mother let her daughter pee on the floor because we didn't have a toy that doesn't exist. A mother let her daughter pee on the floor because her daughter was too angry to go to the bathroom a few feet away, all because she wanted a remote control unicorn that poops and flies that she saw on TV. The mother is convinced it exists, and whether or not it does, it didn't show up on Google, and we certainly don't have it at our store. The few options that showed up just made the little girl increasingly angry until she screams, That's the wrong one! I'm so angry! I'm gonna pee! And her mother explains, she says this when she's angry, as the girl begins to actually urinate right there on the floor. I'm stunned. The mother made no attempt to take the little girl to the bathroom or anything. The kicker, though, is the fact the mother waited until the girl was done, then said, You should try to keep things in stock, because I bet Walmart has it, and I'm not cleaning that up, and headed off to another area. One of the other associates saw this and hurried to get the cleaning supplies from the closet, because it's a health issue. I offered to help with it too, but they said they had it, so that's all there is to it. Really gross. Oh my goodness, this is, I just, I like, this one just leaves me, I, I don't want to believe this one, because a mum just lets her kid pee on the, on the floor, that's, I mean, yeah, this one's just left me pretty speechless, I, I don't, under, I don't understand it, I don't understand a parent who just lets their kid pee on the floor, that is, that's, you know, gross for a start. And second of all, if you think you're going to teach your kid anything, or if you're going to get anything from letting your daughter pee on the floor, you are very, very wrong. And it's going to come back to bite you at some point. So here, the shop assistant was a nice person and was just shocked. But, but someday, this, this woman's going to run into someone and she's going to get in real big trouble. Alrighty, everyone, that's it from me for today. This was r slash entitled parents. If you like this video, then definitely tell me in the comments down below. I am definitely entitled to someone subscribing to this channel as well, and uh, I can post it here then. So I'll just I'll just make a post. I'll say entitled entitled YouTubers entitled YouTubers. That should be a thing. Entitled YouTuber thinks he deserves subscribers. That will be my story. But seriously, guys, if you did enjoy it, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, tell me that you want more of these videos in the comments. But for now, guys, all I want to do is see you all here next time. Goodbye!